Now let me show you how the Construction Master Pro's linked width and height keys can give you areas, volumes, perimeters, and square up diagonals and more just by entering the values in once. Uh, of course you could always calculate things manually but it would be a lot of repetitive keystroking. This feature saves a lot of time. Let's say 3.5 meters is the length of a pad we're going to do. Um, and maybe it's 6.25 meters wide. 6.25 meters is the width and we're going to pour it 100 millimeters deep. So let's go 100, convert 9, gives us millimeters. I'm going to call that the height or depth. So now we're set for a whole lot of answers. Let me start with the width key. I press it once. It reconfirms the width at 6.25 meters. But now the next press gives me the surface area. You got 21.875 uh, square meters. Press it again. That gives me the square up diagonal. So if I'm setting forms and I'm going to pull a tape and make sure I've got true 90 degree corners, that's the value I need to see. Press it again. That's the perimeter, 19.5 lineal meters around the whole perimeter of this pad. Um, Press the height key, it'll confirm the depth of the 100 millimeters. Press it again, gives me the cubic volume. It's 2.2 uh, roughly cubic meters. I can press it again and it says wall square meters. And so that's that 100 millimeter high sidewall, the depth of this, this pad all the way around the perimeter adds up to just about two square meters. So if you had to apply forms release or any kind of sealant or any kind of treatment, that's how much area you're gonna need to cover. There's also one more press here, it's called the room area, and that would take those four walls area as well as the top surface. And this, this feature is most useful if you're doing a room, for instance. So if I had a three meters as my height, we're doing a, a room and we're looking for surface area of, of sheetrock or drywall or paneling material. When I press the height key, the volume doesn't matter anymore. The wall surface area is 58 square meters around this room. Press it again. Now the wall plus the ceiling is going to be 80 square meters. So that tells you how much material you're going to need to cover that surface. So that's a quick overview of using the length, width, and height functions to calculate areas, perimeters, volumes, and square ups. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com/support.